Mark Schaller. I am the brand manager for the Shelby GT350. And behind me I have the all new 2016 Shelby GT350. Uh, so it is the most track capable and focused Mustang we've ever produced. It is more nimble and more agile than anything else that we at Ford Motor Company have uh, brought to the general public and we're very, very excited to bring this to you here direct from Laguna Seca Racetrack uh, in sunny California. So the heart of the Shelby GT350 is the 5.2 liter V8 which you see behind me. So it's got the flat plane crankshaft which is gonna give the, the, the engine its unique sound and character that you'll hear behind me as these cars rip around Laguna Seca. And at the same time, it's gonna allow it to rev all the way up to 8250 RPM, which is the first time we've been able to do something like that in a Mustang. So it gives it a unique sound character. It provides a nice broad flat torque curve for use out on the racetrack, uh, improved breathability and lower spinning inertia for the engine. So all of that coupled together produces 526 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. bit softer setting on the shocks uh, the exhaust valve is closed for the most part when you switch to sport it allows a little bit more wheel slip a little bit more yaw angle it opens the valve up to make the exhaust louder the magna ride shocks um, they will stiffen to give you more um, a better feel while out on the racetrack when you go to track mode it takes it even further and so the the electronic aids are less intrusive so it allows even more yawing, it allows more wheel slip, it allows you to control the car to the level that you're comfortable. So depending on your skill level as a driver, you may want to start in sport and then you could flip it to track as you go around for your, your, your flying lap um, or you can put it in track from the beginning. So one of the two settings I want you to be in the entire time. over with this car. We've got a lot of technical innovation, a lot of chassis tuning that went in by our Ford Performance Engineer to make it the most track capable Mustang we've ever built. As you can hear behind me, it's one of the GT 250 cars. Front stretch of Laguna Seca. Um, that part of the, the, the 5.2 liter V8 is what you hear behind me. Um, all of the engineers hard work has really gone into the tuning, the aerodynamics, the braking, and the balance of this entire car. Um, so from the A-pillar forward on this car, you'll have unique fenders, unique hood, unique front fascia, all dedicated to making sure we have minimized drag, but at the same time providing useful downforce and proper cooling to all the, or the critical engine components and critical pieces of this car to allow somebody to take it on the track for a track day and have it be able to run for, for multiple laps. That includes brake cooling, called engine oil transmission. The brakes are something very, very special about this car. We've got 15 and a half inch two-piece cross-drilled vented rotors up front with 14.9 inch rotors in the rear. There are six piston radial mounted brake calipers by Brembo up front and four piston fixed calipers in the rear. All of that put together with the cooling make this the most capable braking Mustang we've ever produced. The other thing I wanted to show you once you set your, your mode is in the track apps, which you'll access through this left-hand five-way switch, you'll go to select track apps, and then you wanna go down to the shift indicator. So while on the shift indicator, there's three different modes. So there's a, a tack mode, a, dra uh, a drag mode, and a, and a race mode. So what I want you to do is pay attention to the top screen right there. It's kind of like a heads-up display. And hit okay on each of the modes one of them is gonna cycle from left to right. The next one is gonna cycle from out to in. And then the drag mode will just flash at you. So what you're gonna use this for is you're gonna set your desired RPM limit. So you can set the limit anywhere from 2,000 to 8,000 RPM. And you can have it flash at you to let you know where you are in the rev range. So depending on if you wanna see that where you're out on track or if you don't, you can turn it on or off. Okay. And then you can use that to let you know where you're at in the rev range. 
The good news about this car is you'll be able to hear it as well. The exhaust in this car is fantastic, as you may have heard already. Um, so you'll you'll really be able to tell where you're at. But if you want to use this, I want you guys to be comfortable enough where you're going to set it before you leave. Okay. That way you don't have to think about when you're out on the track. Also, technology-wise, we have unique aluminum wheels that are lighter than the GT Performance Package. Um, and then on the GT350R, we have the first OEM, major OEM produced carbon fiber wheels. We have specially designed tires by Michelin uh, in conjunction with the Ford Performance Engineers that are specially designed with tread pattern, sidewall construction, and composition. So the Michelin Supersport tires on the GT350 track package behind me were um, designed and engineered in conjunction with the Ford Performance Engineers specifically for this car and specifically for the chassis tuning that the engineers have come up with. On the GT350R, the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, again, specially designed and developed for this car to give you the most grip out on the racetrack and give us the lateral performance that we need out of the car. The aerodynamics of this car are also something that's very, very special. I mentioned that from the A-pillar forward, it's unique for this very vehicle. Um, you've got integrated cooling. You have air curtains right here. You have uh, functional fender vents on the side. Um, there are connected to the, the front splitter is a, is a belly pan that kicks air up into the engine oil and transmission coolers. And on the rear of the car, the diffuser has dedicated venting that also kicks direct air into the differential cooler. So all to get track capable and track performance that you're going to need while you're out on the racetrack. So we have two distinct flavors to the GT350. We have the GT350 and the GT350R. Uh, the red one to my right is the GT350 with the track package, and the yellow one behind me is the GT350R. Some of the big differences between the two have a lot to do with aerodynamics um, and a lot to do with unsprung weight and chassis tuning. So in terms of aerodynamics, the GT350R has a unique splitter, which is larger to provide more downforce up front, and a unique carbon fiber rear wing, which gives you more downforce in the rear, all to make it more stable and more aggressive out on the racetrack. Uh, the other big change between the 350 and the 350R has a lot to do with the chassis tuning, so it's got unique spars, unique springs, unique bars, and unique dampers to the car, uh, as well as the carbon fiber wheels with unique Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. These tires have been jointly developed between Ford Performance and Michelin with a unique tread pattern, a unique sidewall, and a unique uh, composition to them, all to coincide with the unique tuning that goes into the GT350R. The carbon fiber wheels are the first time a major OEM has been able to put those into production on a mass-produced car. They will produce less than, or they will, let me redo that part. 
The carbon fiber wheels will be the first time that a major OEM has produced them on a mass production car, and they will reduce the unsprung weight of the vehicle by 15 pounds per corner, which reduces overall weight down by over 60 pounds on every car versus an equivalent aluminum wheel. That's going to provide sharper steering response and, and make the car feel much more light and much more nimble while out on a racetrack. Another unique feature on the GT350 and the GT350R is the Magneride dampers. This is the first time Ford Motor Company has utilized this technology. So Magna Heterological dampers, also known as MR, um, have a, a fluid in them that when passed through with electric current can change the viscosity of the shock. The Magneride shock provides super fast response time, which up to seven milliseconds the shock can respond to what it's sensing in the, the road. This will allow, whether it be on a racetrack, on a road course, uh, the, the chassis to respond much, much quicker than a standard suspension setup. It also allow us to have a varying degrees of, of suspension stiffness. So a traditional suspension, you either have to set up very, very soft or very, very hard, which can, uh, for an everyday driver, uh, you might want the suspension a little bit more soft, but when on a racetrack, you might want it much more stiff. The Magnarine dampers allow us the best of both worlds. When you're driving every day or driving to work or around the canyons, you can have a little bit softer, but yet when you come to a beautiful racetrack like Laguna Seca, you can put the car in track mode, stiffen up the suspension, and be ready to go. Did you enjoy this everything you ever wanted to know video? If so, just click on this classic Shelby GT350 Mustang and we'll show you more 2016 new car reviews. They're coming fast and furious now. Also, please don't forget to click here to subscribe because we want to have you be part of the TFL family so that you can see the newest cars first. Because remember, you saw it first on the Fast Lane Car. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao.